Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to design this bolt in SOLIDWORKS. And so you can see that it has some specific design features. As we scroll around, you're going to be able to see those features here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by opening up a new part. So let's go to new right here. Select part, click OK. So the first thing we're going to go do is we're going to hit our front plane. We're going to hit sketch. Once you hit front plane and sketch, you're going to go up to the polygon tool. You're going to click on the center right here and we're going to draw out a polygon shape. And so when we draw it out, we're going to see that our parameters, we're going to keep six sides. We're going to keep the inscribed circle. And so when the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the check mark. Then we're going to go up to Smart Dimension, and we're going to dimension this out. So we're going to click on here, bring it over to this side right here, and then bring it up. And we're going to make this dimension as 20. Check mark. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually let's hit Escape. We're going to click right here. And we're going to make sure that this is horizontal. So go ahead and click on that horizontal number right there. And now we're going to go to our features tab. We're going to select extruded boss base. We're going to have the direction as the mid plane. And we're going to make sure our diameter is at nine. So we're going to change this to nine millimeters. And then we're going to hit the green arrow to lock that in. And so this gives us the beginning of our, our shape for our bolt. Now we're going to click on the outer face right here. And we're going to click on sketch. And now we're going to hit the draw circle. And what we're going to do is from the center point right here, we're going to draw a circle until we hit that outer edge. What that's going to do is it's going to make it tangent to our, to our bolt face. And so now I want to click the features tab and we're going to go to extruded cut. Now, once we click extruded cut, we're going to change Let's go, we're going to keep it on sketch plane. Uh, we're going to change this to through all. We're going to click on this degrees and we're going to change this to 45 degrees. Five degrees. We want to make sure that we do have this flip side to cut checked. And then we're going to click the arrow. And so what that's going to do is it's going to give us this this cut feature right here. So now we're going to go up to the features menu. We're going to hit mirror. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hit this drop down right here on our history. I'm going to choose front plane. Once front plane, it's going to say front plane right here. Once I, once I choose that, I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm going to do is go back to the sketch. I'm going to click on the circle. I'm going to select this front plane right here. It's going to it's going to rotate, and then I'm going to draw a circle with a diameter of 12. So I'm going to draw this out. Then I'm going to go to my Smart Dimension tool, click on the circle, and then I'm going to put in 12. That's check mark. Hit this check mark one more time. Now let's go to our features tab. And so in the features tab, what we're going to be doing is clicking on the extruded boss base. And then within the within this extruded boss base, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be direction of is going to be blind. And then what I'm going to do is for my diameter, I'm going to put at 40 millimeters. So let's click on here, 40, 40 millimeters. Let's 
check this right here, draft, merge result. Okay, we're gonna click on it. And so now you can see that we have the shape of a bolt started here. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a chamfer here. So let's go ahead and hit escape. I'm gonna choose this edge. When I choose this, I'm gonna go with the chamfer, this little selection box here. When I click on that chamfer, I'm gonna make sure that the chamfer type is this shape. So I want A to D. I'm gonna keep it on edge one, there's no preview. And then I'm gonna change this to 0.5. So let's go ahead and 0 0.5. So make sure this has 0.5. And then our degrees is gonna be at 45 degrees. So once you have all of those selections in, you're gonna hit your check mark. And that's gonna give us that little chamfer at the end. Okay, so now it's time to add our threads to our bolt. So we're gonna go over to our whole wizard. We're gonna go on the drop down, look for thread. When it opens up the menu, it's gonna give you this, that sizes are nominal, we'll click okay. And so we're gonna start with our thread location. So edge. One and then up to selection edge two. And then this should give us our wire thread right here. We're gonna make sure that we're on metric die. We're gonna have it at M12 times 1.5. We do want to have an offset. So we're gonna put this offset at two millimeters. Our thread method is gonna be cut thread. We do wanna keep a right hand thread and we're gonna have that wireframe preview. Okay, so just make sure that you've tapped those selections. And so this should be what your bolt looks like. You can see that we're coming two millimeters off the end. So that way it does have some threading. And so now we're gonna hit the, the check mark. And so this is what our bolt is looking like right now. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of scroll in onto this little part right here, rotate over. We're gonna select this face. We're gonna select sketch. So once it's selected, we're gonna hit Convert Entities. Then we're gonna to go to Features. Then we're gonna to go to Extruded Cut. Because what we wanna do is we wanna cut this piece out right here. So once you have the, the uh, sketch plane open, you're gonna go from Blind, you're gonna hit Through All. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna delete this little part so it kinda of like, it will give you an, a better look on the bolts. So let's hit check mark. And so you can see that we just lost that little area right there. Okay, guys, so that is your bolt. So last thing we're going to do is we're going to change this to a, um, for the material type. So let's go ahead and go over to this appearance menu. Let's hit the appearances right here. Let's click on metal. We're going to go steel. And for this one right here, we're gonna do a brushed steel. So what I want you guys to do is on your keyboard, you're gonna click on Alt, and then you're gonna bring that brushed steel over to the bolt, put it onto the bolt, and then it changes that, that color appearance to that brushed steel look. So that is the bolt, guys, that's, that's, your, that's your project. So what I want you guys to do now is we're gonna go up and save it. So let's go ahead and go up to Hit the check mark here. So guys, last thing we gotta do is we just gotta save our projects. We're gonna go up to the save right here. We're gonna make sure we're on our Google Drive and then we're going to save it to brush steel bolt. Brushed steel bolt. Let's hit save. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed the project. If you have any questions, please let me know and have a great day.